Yo, 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 welcome back. This is the Kickoff FC show. This is your boy, Ryan 2012, and that's your boy, Dan Rumba. You already know, man, we're talking everything Manchester United. And today, we're going to talk about the upcoming match back in the EPL, fresh off the international break against Newcastle. Zane, Newcastle is a quality team. They're only, they got games in hand, mm -hmm. so they can make a push for top four. I don't think they're going to get third. But they're gonna make a push for top four. Either way, this is a chance for us to remind them why we won the Carabao Cup and not them. Over them, yeah. But Manchester United are back in the trophy winning business. Yeah, we're beat to know. That's and so we're gonna do the same thing again in the EPL. I just don't want any hangovers from where we were previously or coming off the international break. We should come back fresh. Not only that. I think some injured players are coming back as well too. What yes, do you think? and also the great one, McTominay, shining for Scotland. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. <laughs> Not you, Scott. Yo, the Briss. Who's that guy? Because twice he's, he's a different breed against Spain at that. So, That's like mm, mm. Harry Maguire for England. <laughs> no. No, I don't know what the trash, what trash Maguire be talking about. He one of the best. And his <laughs> manager for England. My youth, you're tripping over yourself in a box for England. <laughs> we all see you stumbling over defenders. The team winning is not because of you stopping anything in defense. So we can't agree with that. <laughs> but McTominay is needed in the midfield. Because we still have people out for cards and injuries and slowly coming back. So we need as many bodies in the midfield. It's all right. Casemiro is out, obviously. So we're not going to have Casemiro mm -hmm. this much against Newcastle, which gives Newcastle hope. So are we going to see Mick Fred? Who? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think so. I think it's going to be McTominay and Bruno. Hmm. And then they're going to have Winghorst play off, hopefully. Like what they did the last time. Yeah, and have Sancho and Rashford figure it out. Because there's no reason and you Anthony. don't go play um, in the international break and you don't start. You see me? Ain't no way if I'm full, I'm farm sick. And then don't start for my new against Newcastle. You're supposed to come back fresh. Yeah. You know? Two weeks in New York, chilling or wherever. And I if go. we're open, Ericsson is available. We can kind of ease him back in. Obviously, he ain't going to start. I right. would do that. That would be foolish. You have to ease him back into the squad. You know, but anyway, my thing is this, right? Newcastle have a quality team, right? Mm -hmm. Them boys have a solid defense. We all know that, right? Yeah. Because they got big defenders too, because they're a threat on set pieces. Not only that, but Trippier is quality from yeah. freaking. We saw it in the last game. He could have easily scored on us. Mm -hmm. So Trippier is going to be a, 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 a key to the match for Newcastle. What we need to do is make sure we don't give away any fouls in that area right at the top of the box where it can be a threat Facts. for the hair. Or even off the box as well, too. Like I said, they're good on set pieces. And with those mm -hmm. big defenders, who we going to depend on? Yes, as much as my respect and love Martinez, right. you can't teach height. Or Shaw. You, you understand? Teach height to them no you can't teach height. And them boys, Trippier is the shortest player on that defensive line for... Um, Newcastle. All them other boys about six foot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Botman and the rest of the guys over there, they're some quality defenders. So we're gonna really have to bring our A game. Rashford need to continue his form. You know, he getting some rest now. We might get Ericsson back on Marshall, so the bench might have some strong. Also the bench might have some strong. The area. What? I ain't hate what you say? There I say we might have the return of McFred. Stop it. Get some help. I'm just saying. You know, and no Casemiro. So Newcastle going into this game, mm -hmm. they're going to feel confident. They're going to feel revenge, vengeful as well too, because they're going to want to beat us. They're going to try. They're going to try. And not only that, but they're playing at St. James's Park. So they're at home. So they have the advantage on we're us. They're going to silence them. We need to fix that. Keep Honestly, mm -hmm. I really hope we win. Really, really hope we win. But in my 
heart to heart, I'm thinking right now, my prediction is like a 1-1 one, one draw. One, they one is going to okay. end in a stalemate. Or if not, maybe one of the man you can edge it by a 1-0. But I think this is going to be a clash. Yeah, for, right the, for the players that we have available, they will put on the pitch against Newcastle starting eleven. We going to need one Basaka to shut down whoever is on his wing. Isaac. We need to they gonna clamp, with two strikers. We need him to clamp down all the so so the other the teammates them can uh, move around and, and secure the defense how they need to. Yeah. As someone said, we need that shut down corner. Yeah. I think they're gonna come with two strikers in that game. Mm -hmm. Plus them have Wilson that might come off the bench because he hasn't been in any form. Right, but right. Isaac has been. So he's gonna be the danger guy, the threat. Outside of set pieces, he's the danger guy. You know, Bruno Large playing good for them in the midfield. It don't matter if Fred and McTominay Who? can handle that and just yeah. do the bear, just, do, just don't mess with the dude. Yeah, that's on don't give away the ball and just understand your defensive position. Marshall, Emma Marshall, um, Anthony Rashford, Weghorst, them have to worry about creating plays. Bruno sure. will, Bruno, and let me say something about Bruno real quick, man. Bruno has quietly been having a stellar season. Uh -huh. I hope you all noticed that. Between De Gea, Bruno, and Rashford, them three guys, yeah. having an incredible season for us. Bruno is on point, assists, and scoring. De Gea, you already know, he saved us a multitude of times. And Rashford, the man on fire! Oh, oh my! He's on fire! Doing his Pay thing. them guys. Pay them guys. Pay them Pay guys. Pay them guys. Them guys. Long Pay contract. them guys. Yeah, man. But that's that's my thoughts, yo. I think it's going to be an entertaining game. This is the preview. We're going to see what happens. But like I said, my prediction is a 1-1 one, one draw. Or it's like if, if my heart tell me we can edge it out 1-0. What's your final prediction on um, the score? This is 2-1, Man United, because this is just a... Grudge match, it don't really change nothing in the league. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be um, a 2-1 scrappy. Let's see. Anyway, this is your boy, Ride 2012, and that's your boy, Don Roomba. Yeah, thanks for watching. Man. Subscribe. Subscribe.